Hey, welcome back! Right! This is apparently the ultimate adventure castle. I mean, this is a massive claim, the name of this set. So it is the Lego Disney Princess Ultimate Adventure Castle. What makes it the ultimate adventure? Or is it an adventure castle? Or is it an ultimate castle? Or I just don't, I mean, the name, the name is, the names of these often blow my mind, <laughs> make me wonder who makes them up. Anyway, let's have a look at this set today. There are 698 pieces. It is a horrifying price. It's $180 here in Australia. It's obviously got the, got the mouse surcharge on it. Uh, yeah, but I do like the fact, I mean, the small things, the fact that the instruction books, the stickers come in this nice little cardboard, cardboard folder to stop them from getting all squished up or, you know, lost in amongst all the rest of the stuff. And whoa, 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 it just keeps coming. Just make sure there's nothing else in there before we throw that bit away. Sorry, we recycle that bit. So there are two sheets of stickers and there are six books. So there's one book for each bag. Yeah, that's pretty ultimate. <laughs> right, okay. This is the first set, Disney Princess set, that has come with five mini dolls in it. And I assume that has something to do with the pricing on it, but still, I... Mm. First one that I just love to see again. We've only seen Snow White before in one set, and her outfit in this is sublime. It's just so... Right, it's just so much better than the previous version. Also, the fact that the previous Snow Whites on the secondhand market are like 50 bucks. So this is going to mean that Snow White becomes affordable for people again. And this is a beautiful version of Snow White. Actually, when I say affordable, you still got to buy a $180 set to be able to get her. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous version of Snow White. I love her face print. I love everything about her outfit. She comes with a bluebird as her accessories, as a as her special friend. Okay, now, next mini doll, there are five of them, next princess. So this is supposed to be the ultimate castle, but we only get five of the Disney princesses and it'd be cool if we had a whole whack of them. The five is a nice start. The second one is Ariel, and we've seen Ariel heaps and heaps of times before, but this is a new, uh, new bodice print for her. It's the it's, it's same, same, but different. And same with the skirt is the same as one before, but it's on the new skirt mold with a little thin hinge on it. And face print is, you know, her the, the same one we've seen before. Really, really, can't get her hair on. Really lovely. Uh, we've got her hair and she comes with Sebastian. So each of the princesses come with a companion. So she comes with Sebastian. So that's cool. We've seen Sebastian heaps of times, but like the whole dress here for Ariel is a new version. So this is cool. Brand new Snow White, brand new Ariel dress. Third mini doll is Tiana and Tiana we don't see enough. Tiana's skirt print is slightly varied from the last time we saw her and her torso print is the same but with a different necklace on it but she's also now being printed on a new skin tone, on the medium brown skin tone which suits her character much more! Yay Lego! And all of their new skin tones that they've been releasing recently. It's so good. Got the same face print as we've seen before and the hairpiece which unfortunately hasn't been updated to be more appropriate for her. It's just a recolored Cinderella hairpiece but anyway. Her companion is a white cat with an M on it and I just don't... I She had a white cat right but that's Lily and like what's the M stand for? I'm wondering whether this is supposed to be the aristocrat's cat who was Marie and was pink you know had pink accessories like this I don't know let me know in the comments if you know who the cat is supposed to be but that's my assumption and we also have got Moana in yet another new print and I love it I love it so much it's so perfect for her <laughs> just I get so excited every time I see Moana because she's just a fresh of breath air amongst the other princesses She's got a uh, face print, love her quirky face print that we've seen before, full of character, and her hair piece is now not black anymore, but it's dark brown. That's really cool. So she is just rocking a brand new outfit, exclusive currently to this set, and it's so nice. And she's joined by Pua, her piggy. So that's cool. We've seen Pua in just a couple of years ago, but it's so cute. I love it. We cannot have enough piggies in Lego, I think. So we've now got Moana. We've got the three, no, four. <laughs> counting. Amazing. Maths is my forte. We've also got Rapunzel. And Rapunzel is actually the only character in here without a brand new outfit. This is the same outfit she was wearing in... Uh 
Oh, the last time we saw it, it's not printed on the back. The skirt piece is the old version of the skirt piece with the wide hinge on it. Uh, her face print is the same as the most recent version of her and hair as well as the same too. That's got this interesting little crease up here on the side, which I don't think is supposed to be part of the mold. That's that's a bit weird. And she has got Pascal as her companion. So also seen Pascal recently as well in this incarnation. Right. So, but four out of five exclusive outfitted princesses in this set. If you are a Disney princess collector, like I am, then this is pretty exciting. Except it's such an expensive set, which makes it a lot less exciting. Now, I just, I mean, the new Snow White mini doll is my favorite. Let's start with her bag, which is bag number five. So let's start with her build and we get, oh no, hold on. I actually, this is, we need this base plate for her build, but I opened bag number one. <laughs> Right, no, we're doing Ariel's bag because that's number one. Because I thought I'd start with Snow White and then I opened bag number one because my brain is full of hazy mush. So let's do this. We'll get to, we'll do Snow White's next. So we'll go from bag number one to bag number five. That'll be confusing for everybody. So let's get Ariel's little. I don't, I mean, they're all supposed to have their own kind of living arrangements in this ultimate adventure castle. What is it about this castle that's going to make it an adventure? Like, are they skiing or what? <laughs> what, what is the criteria for an adventure for a Disney princess? Now, this is a question. Let's just find out. Let's build and see, and I'll stop being so cynical <laughs> about the title of this set. Though, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure my cynicism is warranted. We've got some uh, seahorse stickers, just the same as they are in the cartoon. So we're building a little underwater water scene here uh, just, which is interesting because Ariel's not in her mermaid incarnation so all right so this is the outside of this little room we've got a sticker which I haven't put on quite so straight on the shield we'll try again now I've mushed up the corner but that's fine with a faceted heart on it and there's a trunk a gold trunk with some under the water treasure kind of stuff so we've got three different or oh, two different colored gems a cup a goblet and a dingle hopper which is actually not supposed to go in here but I'm just giving it to Ariel anyway because I found it here over here in the stuff that needs to go on I don't know where the fork actually turns up but it's nice that she finally has it as part of part of her story so on the second level we get a little pinky turrety kind of thing and a bed so there's a bed here with a side table and this sticker gives her her bedspread which is like turquoise seashells no scales scales and that's just perfect for her and we've got the little feet holdery thing on the end so she doesn't just roll straight out of bed and the side table is where she stores her dingle hopper uh okay and there's a faceted gem heart in the little pink tarotty bit and I'm, I, I was so pleased to not see the faceted hearts for a while in the Disney princess sets, but they're back again. It's even on the flag, <laughs> on the little flag that with the sticker on it. Anyway, all right. And on this very top level, this is getting quite tall, tall and skinny. We've just got a, another turrety bit with some of the slanty things, which have a proper technical name that I can't remember what it is. And there's a little spot up there to actually put someone, AKA Sebastian, we can store him up there, and some flowers on the windowsills. And then I think we're almost done with this, with Ariel's tower, except we have some flags to go on here, but this has got a swirly thing on it, which kind of, that's like a Moana swirl thing, isn't it? Oh, we got another flag to do at this point too. And this one has got seashells on either side. So this is to, yeah, this is this one denotes Ariel's habitat. <laughs> so hmm, Moana here and Ariel's flag up the top. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. This is very much a simplified version of the things that Ariel has in her story. So we've got an underwater area and a bedroom up the top. I built something similar, <laughs> but much more complex. Okay, so we have got good spare parts. We're up to bag number five because we're skipping straight to Snow White now because I want to, it's been so long since we've done our single Snow White build that I want to see what she gets in this build. But oh, that mini doll, she's so beautiful. <laughs> so lovely my new favorite mini doll oh my gosh all right so we're starting I reckon that that's a bed it's going in the same way that little curved white pillowy bit as the one that we built for Ariel so this is a downstairs part of the castle and side table brown bed bit and for the bedspread she gets a blue blanket with golden apples tiled on it which is really nice it's not too cutesy I really like that for her little red side table and on the side table she has a lantern 
Okay, and this, oh, I like this. I like that, that's an easy way to use the, to do drapes, the little red curtainy bits, which are actually the bonnety bit of a car, like generally for Lego cars. Okay, that was exciting. <laughs> Enjoy using, seeing like different parts being used. Uh, sticker makes some really nice shutters on the outside. And this is uh, just a little, a little version of of the uh, of the fireplace so that's poppable outable because it's sitting on jumper studs inside and just next to it is a spot for a basket with an apple with a red apple very important for her story uh, I think that's all that we have room to fit inside except for a sticker of a cuckoo clock very nice okay all right and this is I don't know what this is oh I do know what this is because I've seen this before so this is going to be Let's just build this bit up here. This is actually, we have a key so that we can lock this. We're actually gonna be able to shut this castle and lock it up. That's a really cute feature, I like that. Okay, uh, flowers going on the windowsill and just out here there's a random box. I don't know what goes in it, but there are some nice cut pieces, logs of wood next to it. Oh, okay, next level, green going on. And the turrets, pre-built big white turrety bit. Is that turrets? I'm just using the word turrets for all the things. I don't know. Castle-y bit. Bit that definitely looks like a castle. So let's see what's up here on the second level. It's all green and grassy up here, which is kind of cute. <laughs> There's a turny bit in the middle. And what do we get? Is it going to be a dance floor? It's often a ballroom for the Disney princesses because that's all they do. They're supposed to be having adventures, gosh darn it. That's what this is supposed to be. What are their adventures? I'm yet to see any sign of adventuring. I want to see some adventures. Okay, let's have a look. We've got a mushroom. I just like the fact that this is like a little forest. A little forest wonderland up here. A woodland, that's it. Not a wonderland. Don't know where I got that from. And we've got a birdhouse now. And the key can be stored up here in the turny bit. So, not sure what the function of the turny bit is, but it's kind of cool. We'll be able to put princesses on them and swirl them around. If you like doing that kind of thing. And they're the pieces we have at the end of the bag. And now we're up to bag number two. Because we're jumping back. Bag number two does not have a princess associated with it. Because there are six bags and there are only five princesses in here. So this is actually the front, well, the middle entryway. The main foyer of the whole castle. So it's going to just have a bit of grandioseness to it, I hope. So we've got a couple of big vases of flowers. A gold mat with the faceted hearts on it. Again, I put that sticker on kind of not straight, but it'd be fine. And now lining the walls are pictures of the princesses. And they all have the same facial silhouette, but I think if from left to right, like Ariel, Aurora, Belle, next line, Moana, Mulan, and Pocahontas, who we still haven't seen in Lego mini doll form yet. Do you think we could be doing that at some stage, Lego? You Put her in promotional pictures and everything. You know what she's supposed to look like. Make her already. And okay. And on the other wall, <laughs> on the other wall, we've got Cinderella, uh, Jasmine Merida, Rapunzel, Snow White, and Tiana. Nice. Did they miss any princesses or is that all of them? And it also just makes me feel a little bit ripped off because that's a lot of princesses. We only see five of them in this, this which is supposed to be an ultimate castle let alone adventures. Oh, I don't know why that name has just enraged me because I'm not seeing any sign of adventures. <laughs> the only thing ultimate so far is the price tag, though I, I do love the princesses. Okay, right. So concentrating on the actual building and not obsessing over how expensive Disney Lego is. On the next level, totally obsessing over it, on the next level we've got a couple of little grey claws sticking out on either side. Uh, pennants, purple pennants hanging down as decoration on either side, wall sides on the front. And on the inside we get a massive cake. <laughs> I mean, what is an adventure without an enormous cake? What adventures can we have with a cake? I mean, I can think of some adventures we could have with cakes. It's on a spinny bit. So, okay, the focal part of this second room is a ginormous cake. Very cute. Actually, I love the pastelity of it. All the pastel colours and I'm just making words up. I'm sure pastelity isn't a word. Though it should be. I quite like it. <laughs> I say it should become a word now. Thank you. Okay, focusing. Uh, next level up. We're getting quite nice and tall up here. Okay, no, we'll go back down because we are going to be heading up, but we've got a balcony section here and then... Uh, 
on the front of the balcony section is going to be another one of these little flaggy bits with the faceted heart on it and you know I think um, this is I know that this is not targeted for me for me as a builder but it's still it's too cutified it's like Disneyified really for for my tastes I just want, want something a bit more complex and I know that Lego can do it and there's definitely a market market out there anyway babbling on we're up to bag number three but we're going to look at the rest of the rest of the build in the next video because there are still three more princess habitats to look at and then we get to see how it all goes together and locks up so yeah rather than exhausting ourselves today let's split it up and have a look at the rest of it in the next video so yep oh my goodness can i hear you shouting at me i'm sure i can i will see you again very soon so check back in and it'll be ready soon <laughs> see you soon bye